Hi, my name is Antonio Newton, your local realtor with the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker, and welcome to today's episode of Time to Talk Tuesday. Today, we're talking to homeowners about selling to an investor. As we know, we're in a hyper-aggressive seller's market, and there are many things to consider when trying to sell your biggest asset. And one of the things that's going on is there's more investors right now in the marketplace than ever before. Uh, there are many Wall Street-backed institutions that are investing in real estate. You also have many investors that have popped up since the crash of, of individual people or companies or LLCs that are in the business of investing. You also have wholesalers. So it's a very convoluted marketplace in terms of selling to investors. So we're going to talk about some things that you should consider when trying to sell your biggest and most likely your largest asset. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss it. Time to Talk Tuesday, where your local realtor, Antonio Newton, discusses the local market and common issues, providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. Before we dive into today's content, please don't forget that you can catch all of our video content on our YouTube channel at Antonio Newton Realtor, The Newton Group. There you'll find all of our Time to Talk Tuesday episodes, our monthly market stats, our interview after coffee series, as well as other video content as well. And don't forget to connect with us on Facebook and other social media sites. And if you like this video, please comment, let us know. Um, if you're on YouTube, make sure you click that bell and subscribe so that way you get notified anytime we release new video content. And also, don't forget to tell a friend. If there's a, a specific topic you want us to discuss, let us know. That's what we're here for. We're here to discuss the topics that matter most to you. So let's dive into today's episode, selling to an investor. As stated, the market right now is thriving. You know, people can sell their house quickly for top dollar. And with that, there's a lot of investors in the marketplace. There's a lot of people still investing in real estate. Not only do you have your smaller companies and businesses, your individual owners, but you also have big companies as well as, um, you know, Wall Street backed institutions that are invested in, in real estate. So what should you know? Well, one thing you want to do is you want to consider the buyer's intent when purchasing the home. Now that may matter to you. We had a buyer who wanted to make sure her home went to a family that was going to live in it. She did not want to sell it to an investor because she wanted her, family, her home to be a blessing to another family just as it was to her. So some sellers out there carry the same attitude and the same mindset, and some sellers don't. So remember, there's going to be mainly uh, two types of buyers, the family that's going to live in the home or an investor who there's no kind of emotional attachment. It is strictly about uh, uh, profit and making money off the home. But there's several ways that investors do that. So one is going to be a buy and hold. What they're going to do is they're going to buy your property. They may, be do, they may do some cosmetic stuff, may not. And then they're going to rent it out. And they're going to make profit off of the monthly rent that they attain from the property, as well as to the appreciation. So that is a buy and hold strategy. They're going to buy the property and they're going to hold on to it. They're not going to sell it immediately. They're going to buy it. They're going to rent it out so they get rental income. And then they're also going to allow the market to continue to appreciate, which is also going to help them later on when they go to sell it, be able to make a profit. Then you have your buy and flip. Uh, what they do is they're going to buy a house. They're looking for houses that are in poor condition or that need a lot of work. They want to try to get it for a low price. And then what they're going to do, is they're going to renovate and remodel and make uh, major and large repairs to it. And then they're going to put it back at a, at a, a higher price, a market price and be able to take gains off of, of that profit. So they buy a house for 100,000, they put 35 into it, and then they sell it for 190, for market value at 190. And of course they make profits on that. And you see a lot of that on HGTV. But then you also have a new investor that's relatively new that came around in this technology age. And as your eye buyers, like your open door, your offer pads, your knock, 
And what they do is they're not so much worried on uh, the amount of each deal, but really their strategy for most of these is on volume. So they have very low margins, but they do a lot of volume. So they may only make $5,000 on a house. But if you do 100 houses, it's $500,000. So that can add up quickly. But they're not looking for big profit or big gains. So there's a lot of different things to consider. Is what kind of investor would you be selling to? What is their plans for the house? And is it gonna, how is it going to affect you? So let's talk about the benefits of selling to one of these investors. Most of the time, the majority of the time, investors are buying a house cash. So cash is king. You know, in a cash offer, there's no financing delays. Um, and oftentimes, you have a quicker close time. The majority of the time, if someone is buying a house with financing, then the financing is going to take 30 to 45 days to close. So you have a quick close. You can close quicker than cash. You have no chance for financing not going through, which the majority of deals that don't go through in the marketplace is because of a financing issue. Another benefit is oftentimes investors buy your house as is. So that means that no repairs would be needed. So if your house needs some repairs and you don't have the funds to do so, sometimes you can get an as-is cash offer for your property. Now keep in mind that offer is going to reflect the condition because remember, they are still here to make money. So there's got to be a profit profitability margin that they're going to calculate. And then of course you have the convenience. When you sell to an iBuyer program, the house doesn't hit the market nine times out of 10. So there's no kind of prep work. There's no declutter. There's no staging. There's no showings where you have to leave the house. There's no open houses. There's none of that. And sometimes you can even have flexibility with when you leave or when you have to vacate the property. So those are three uh, benefits that an iBuyer program can have. Now, with that being said, what is the drawback? Well, the main one is money. The biggest downside that comes when selling to an investor is the potential that in most cases, you're going to get less money than you would on the open market. They want to make as big of a profit as possible. And as we know, buyers oftentimes buy with emotion. So that means sometimes a buyer is willing to pay over ask price. So if a property is listed, then oftentimes the property, when it's on the open market, when you have a bid and war, it will go over list price. And not only that, but now in this market, a thing to consider is buyers are buying properties as is. Buyers are closing quicker than normal. And a lot of buyers are bringing cash. So ask yourself, do I need to move quickly? Ask yourself, is my home in good condition? Ask yourself. Do you have cash on hand to do repairs? These things may influence your decision on whether you decide to consider selling to an investor. But before you do, I'd like to encourage you to give us a call because here we have a better alternative to iBuyer program where you can have the benefit of a, a cash offer and still have the guidance of a realtor as well as still being able to entertain putting your house on the market. So not only do you get trusted advice, not only do you still have the benefit of a cash offer, but you can still test the waters and put your house on the open market and see if you can generate terms that are going to be satisfactory for you. So there's a lot to consider when selling your home, when it's your biggest and largest asset that most people have. And most people want to get the most amount of money out of that transaction as possible. But there are times when an eye buyer or an investor may be the strategy to go because either you got transferred or maybe it was a property inherited and you need to sell it quick. So there's various reasons. But it wouldn't hurt just to have a phone call. So give us a call at 803-608-2597. And we'd love to discuss your specific situation and see how we can advise and how we can help. And if our better alternative to an investor or an iBuyer program is appropriate for you. Thank you for watching today's episode of Time to Talk Tuesday. And once again, my name is Antonio Newton with the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Stay safe. This episode of Time to Talk Tuesday was brought to you by the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker, where nothing works. 
until we do. Look for our episodes every Tuesday where Antonio Newton discusses the local market and common issues while providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. If you'd like to reach out to us, we can be reached online and on land at area code 803-608-2597. So until next time, here's wishing you all fair winds, following seas, and gentle tides.